Hey guys, welcome back to another video here. And today we're going to be going over the best methods in Pixelgun 3D to get gems and coins. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because I ran into a player recently who didn't have much gems. He was a free to play player, and was I asked them like two days later how many gems he got. He said he got like 12 gems in two days, and I didn't think that was okay. There's way more methods in this game to get gems, and you don't you have you, you don't need to be a pay to win player. To get gems so i'm gonna go over all the methods today make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel that would help a lot but yeah let's get into it so the first and easiest method is you probably all know watching your ads every day or every 12 hours is really helpful even though it's 30 gems it actually adds up if you don't go spinning your gems on random things this is really good so i'm pretty sure yeah gives you 30 gems every 12 hours which is basically 60 gems a day if you're on at the 12 hour mark. You can even set a timer if you really wanted to, but I don't, I just get on every day and get my uh, free ads in. So this is 30 gems a day, which I think in a week, I'll put the math up on the screen about a week and a month and stuff like that um, of how many gems you get in a year. But I'm pretty sure this, that's a lot of free gems that you, you could just be watching a couple ads for. So yeah. So let's move on to the next way. Now the next method that's not as helpful, but is pretty helpful. If you go to the lottery here, you can see that you can actually get gems out of these chests. Now, normally since I have so many guns, I don't really have any of these like parts or um, battle royale accessories here, like the dragon or anything like that. So like last, uh, last lottery, I only had gems out of all of these chests. And I could spin any of them and I can get guaranteed gems. So I was getting anywhere. To I probably got last lottery. I probably got at least 500 to 600 gems just out of this lottery. Just from watching my ads for keys that pop up here. Or spinning these fighters chest. I don't recommend going for the 6 gem chest. If you're you know a scammer and you know you like to scam winners chest do that I recommend watching your ads you get I think it's every five minutes you get ads if you're below um, I think if you're below a hundred keys or something 150 keys you get ads but if you're above 150 keys you don't get ads anymore but yeah watch your ads every five minutes play a game come back watch your ad um, you get really easy keys for this and you could use those keys to watch fighter ch buy fighter chest Sometimes you get 10 gems, sometimes you get really lucky and get 50 gems. So that's really cool. I get that's how I got half of my gems. But you gotta have a lot of guns for this method because you know you can't have this whole chest filled up with guns. So just try to make sure that you have a decent amount of guns and um, you can get a lot of gems out of this. But yeah, let's go on to the next method. Another thing that you can do is win in clan war. Now, depending on what place you're in, so we're in Crystal Division right now, so we have um, bigger gem offers. So if we took first place in this war, we would get 140 gems for winning, but we're in third, so we're going to get 35 gems for winning. But it depends on, like, if you're in gold, crystal, or steel, or wooden division, what clans, or uh, what gems you'll get if you're in first place. But this is the highest you can go, so if you're looking to get into a Crystal Division clan, just join it and try to get first place and you get 140 gems for free. And it says up there in four days it will end, so uh, that's 140 gems in four days, so that's basically a 190 chest um, in four days. So that's not that bad, but um, of course not the most efficient method, but there's um, this is one of the most efficient methods in the game. So the next way is actually just buying guns itself. Um, so I think a mythical weapon, if you buy it in the gallery, it's 15 gems. I think, yeah, I think it's 15 gems if you get a mythical weapon in the gallery. And I think like 10 for legendary. Um, I don't really know the rest, but it's like 5 for epic. But if you're a really low level player and you just have like a, some co coins to spend, because really nowadays there's nothing to spend with coins other than in the armory. But yeah, just buy the... Uh, weapons that don't really cost much and they'll come up here like legendary weapons you know there's 10 gems right there a mythical weapon there's 15 I'm pretty sure it's 20 I don't know I'm pretty sure it's 15 but yeah that's that's a really efficient method that's how I got all of my a lot of my gems back in the day was just through the gallery because you get so many gems for these guns it's crazy and they all add up so yeah that's one of the another efficient methods so let's move on to the other one 
So a lot of thing, uh, a lot of people uh, don't really abuse this task or this uh, task thing down here as I should. Now some of them, the tasks in this probably need a rework. This whole thing needs a rework. It, it's not. I mean, I don't get. You know, sometimes it said hatch an egg, and it cost me 42 gems or something like that. And the the reward they're offering me is like 10 gems. I mean, that's like. I don't know this really needs an update but like right here if I played five matches in rage raid mode with squad I could get seven gems um I don't really have a full task book right here I don't know why it's not um updated this task has been here for about a year now I haven't really done it but if you're really really looking for those gems and you're so close to getting that trader's van weapon I guess you could do this I don't really recommend it but I'm just telling you all the ways you can get gems but yeah this is another way to get it so the next method is actually through the battle pass itself. Now, if you're a free-to-play player, if you're pay-to-win, it doesn't matter. You'll still get it, gems, but you won't get as many gems as a pay-to-win or as a person who bought premium. Because I don't, I will tell you on screen right now how many gems you get for being premium, or and how many you get when you're um, a premium. So uh, there is a lot of gems. I'm pretty sure it's like a two. You make it like 200-ish gems when you finish the battle pass as a free to play player or if you're pay to win you make it like 400 something i don't really know i'll put a number on screen but um yeah this is a really easy method i mean i think this is like i think it's just 600 gems you can get out of this i don't know but um yeah that's another easy way to get gems. now the best method in my opinion is gonna be the end chest of the battle pass now you're like this is a skin chest who cares well for me I have a lot of skins. I have almost every skin in this chest. But as you can see, I only have three skins available. And look at what's left. There is 180 gems right there. I could just get for spinning. That is a lot of gems. And then there's 60 right here. And a lot of this stuff is helpful for new players. Even the 50% XP gain is really good for free-to-play players who need to level up. But for people who already level 65 and or need veteran weapons, um, you don't really need that. But these right here, 150 keys, 180 gems, 75 credits, boom right there. Just by doing this, I've already almost saved up for the next battle pass. So basically, I can like prep for the next battle pass just by opening these things. Because I, I didn't even, the last time I bought a battle pass was probably like a month or two ago. Because I've just been getting credits out of this this chest and saving up to 600. So getting this chest is actually really helpful. I've gotten at least 2,000 gems just out of this in two, in two months. It's really helpful. And yeah, that's just a, my best method of getting gems if you have almost all the skins in here. So another thing that people don't really use is the tournament mode so if you do a lot of tournaments then if you go to the shop right here and you scroll all the way over you can actually see um gems uh for a hundred of these little ticket things now i don't really do this because i don't like tournament i don't like the way you have to go in and you have to i just don't like the layout of it or not the layout but i just don't like how it's kind of arranged you can't really get trophies like you used to in regular matches so i don't really use this method but if you're you know looking to get some uh, gems and really fast gems you could easily just do this and you get 75 free gems for 100 and I don't really know what you get out of this golden chest but I'm pretty sure yeah there's 200 gems out of this but um this isn't uh the most efficient method unless you have all the skins in here which I don't have all the skins in here but that's 200 gems right there that you could easily get if you got that I um, don't think most of you guys have all the skins in there, but uh, yeah, that's another efficient method. So another very weird kind of way of doing it is there's actually a free gem offer up here, which the developers kind of use to get money out of us. It's basically a whole list of games you can play, do certain tasks, and you can actually get gems for doing those tasks. Like, let's just say you play... Raid Shadow Legends, and you got to get to a certain level on Raid Shadow Legends. You can actually, it'll actually pay you gems in this game to get there. Sometimes I do the tasks and it doesn't give me the gems. I recommend doing the low offers. You don't need to go big and do the 2,000 gem offer. 
But yeah, click on that gem offer. Sometimes they have four time deals going on, which is really helpful. I was actually able to upgrade a mythical, I mean a legendary weapon, a mythical, just by doing that. Because they were having a four times deal offer. That was crazy. I actually upgraded my heroic epi to mythical. But yeah, do those gem offers. Do some small games. Don't, don't do the big ones. Wait till the four times offer comes out because that's where you can hit the big ones because the challenges don't change, but you can still get uh, gems really cool. So, um, yeah, uh, let's go on to the next one. So the next one is going to be the mailbox. You can actually almost ever about two times a month, you can get um, there's mailboxes like um, advertisements for channels to show up in, in this uh, mailbox. And I'm pretty sure this one right here, I got 33 five gems out of just by subscribing to this guy um and i think there was another one down here that offered me about 22 gems so this was just a really easy free gem method just for going over there and subscribing you don't necessarily need to subscribe you can always just back out and come back to the mailbox but i do recommend subscribing because people here are trying to grow their channel and like if i thought of it as i was in here i'd want to get subscribed to so yeah go and subscribe to these guys and you get free gems out of it, and it's actually really easy gems. So, yeah, let's get to the next one. So, the next one is going to be in the store. If you go in the store, I think every day you get a free uh, a free claim that you can do. I think of 15 coins. Sorry for that notification. I think it was 15 coins, um, 5 credits, and, t and 5 gems that you can get daily. And I think it goes through a cycle. It goes... Um, coins, credits, and gems, or it goes coins, gems, and credits. I don't know. I just claimed my five. Oh, there it is, right there. The daily gift. I just claimed my five credits. Um, I think it was like a couple hours ago, and then I think the next one that's going to be available for me is fifteen coins, and then five gems, and then five credits. So this is just a daily gift that you can get. Some people don't do it. Some people do do it. I don't know. I do it. It's free currency, and I'll take it. Well, guys, that's kind of wrapping up for the video for today. Um, just a reminder, if you really, really wanted to buy gems, I don't rec recommend going in here and buying the gems from the gem store itself because they rip you off here like $25 for 600 gems. But I could go over here to a deal that's going on and buy and buy 1100 for $10. So they're really ripping you off over here at the gem store. So wait for these deals to come out. Get these deals when they come out if you want to. I know some of you are a free-to-play player, but if you are looking for some quick gems and you got a little bit of cash, there's $5 for 500 gems. But over here, it's actually like, what, like $15-ish in the middle of there? Yeah. So it's it's really good to get these limited-time offers. They give you a lot of gems, and it's for a way better price. So if you're really looking to get gems and you really want gems, I don't see why you don't get that. So let's go on to the next one. So the next one is actually going to be the free gift ID. And every now and then, if you keep up with content on YouTube, like Echo Soldier, uh, Hermes, everything like that, they'll have free gift IDs in their videos that they hide. And you can actually claim these. Um, the last thing I claimed was 100 gems. And I think it was like 120 coins. But you got to be... The, one of the first people on this um, on the video and I think it's only a thousand um, I think it's only a thousand uses per code so yeah try to try to get post notifications on on all the youtubers and pixel gun 3d community and you can actually get on their video and be the first ones to get the code before the thousand people limit is up and sometimes you can get I think uh, the most I've seen is 150 gems so that's just easy uh, easy gems by watching the favorite creators that you always watch. So, yeah. Well, guys, that's it for the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.